This story was sent in to us by Melody Haddox. I am from Point Pleasant, West Virginia, living in Florida now quite aware of the Mothman stories, but I have my own ghost story from Tennessee while living there. You might find it interesting. It was quite an experience for me. I'll never forget it as long as I live and here it is December 26, 1999, I had just moved to Tennessee, 24 days later the house I moved into burned to the ground with everything I had in my life, but that's another story. We rented a house for six months in Clarksville, Tennessee. It was fairly new subdivision the houses sat on about three-fourths acre lots in a very hilly wooded area. After moving in with what little we had, we were sitting in the kitchen talking and I heard two thumps, we didn't really think about it until the thumps became more than just two. It was coming from the attic. Now this was a fairly new house, five years old. We went up to the attic and it was as clean as if it were brand new, so we just thought well maybe a squirrel. It got worse, it was like someone in the attic was just making this noise, like the sound of walking and stomping. I even had my husband nail the entrance to the attic shut, and slept with the bedroom door locked, like that would help, it did help a little because I wasn't getting any sleep. One day when my husband was at work, I was sitting on the couch and it was in the middle of the day, the sunlight was coming through the windows, I remember I had them open and we had such a nice breeze blowing for July and it was rather cool, but all of a sudden I got this perfect visual. I have had warnings with visuals in my lifetime but not like this. It was a girl with short dark hair, dressed in 70s style clothes, I don't know why I think 70s that's just want came to me at the time, lying on the floor with one arm above her head the other across her chest and her neck was bloody, like her neck had been slashed, the feeling I had, I knew she was dead. The Stomping got worse after that the stumping in the ceiling would follow you wherever you would go in the house and always coming from the attic. It was frightening. We had planned on driving to eastern Kentucky on a Friday. I came home around noon from my husband's office to pack so we could leave early afternoon. While I was at the house I packed as fast as I could, because by now I hated being in the house alone. As I had packed the last of whatever I was taking, I walked from the bedroom across the living room to the front door and as I did, the stomping went right with me right to the front door as if it was furious with me, it was very loud. I couldn't wait to get out of there. While we were in eastern Kentucky, my husband, at that time, was an army chaplain and knew some folks on Prayer Mountain in Korea. He called them and they told us what to do and said that they would have prayers for this house. After returning to the house we had stopped first to purchase as many crosses as we could and hung them in every room and laid hands on the walls and prayed for this house. After that there was no noise, no stomping, it was like it had just gone away. We moved out shortly. After that. After we had moved out of that house I wanted so bad to talk to the realtor who had rented the house to us to ask if anyone had a problem there before, but I was hesitant and didn't. I had often thought of going to the police to check out if anything had ever happened out in that area, but I didn't want to draw any attention. I have since moved back to Florida and I still wonder about this house. I thought at one time that maybe someone had died or was killed on that property before the house was built, or while the house was being built and this spirit was calling out to me for help. But then why would it be so mean? The address of this house is 356 Deepwood Trail I'll never forget that address or Clarksville, Tennessee. Thank you Melody Haddocks for sending us your story. I'm sorry to hear that your house burnt down. If anyone out there has a ghost story and they would like to send it in please email us.